On Wednesday, November 27, 2013, two separate residential break and enters occurred around 4 a.m. in Auburn Bay Southeast. In the first instance, uh, entry was gained through the garage by accessing a remote control in an unlocked vehicle. Uh, once inside the house, the culprit or culprits uh, removed property uh, from the main floor and then exited the home. There was a resident asleep at the time, but didn't become aware of the crime until they woke up in the morning. In the second incident, uh, uh, entry was gained uh, through the use of some sort of tool on the back door. Uh, this caused the uh, residents of the home to wake and uh, the culprit was confronted at the back door of the residence and chased uh, by the homeowner. The one to urge people to do is to ensure that they uh, don't leave garage door openers in their cars, particularly if the cars are on the driveways, you know, take the garage doors openers out. You know, when you take your purse, when you leave your car at the end of the day, take the garage door opener with you as well, because that's a very easy way to get into your home. Um, if you have an alarm in the home, um, alarm it on night mode. Uh, if you hear something in the house, then you can hit the panic button. If you don't have an alarm, the best thing to do is to, is again, to straight on the phone to 911. You believe you have an intruder in the home. Nighttime break and enters can occur anywhere. However, during the month of November 2013, there was a spike in South Calgary areas, including Chaparral, Copperfield, Silverado, Mahogany, and Auburn Bay. We now take you to the end of August and early September 2013 to the Fish Creek, Lacombe and Canyon Meadow sea train stations. On August 26th, a young woman was walking across the Fish Creek, Lacombe LRT pedestrian bridge when she was jumped from behind by an unknown male and assaulted. In the second incident, the female, young female victim was walking across the McLeod Trail pedestrian bridge in the 16,000 block when she was approached from behind by a male who grabbed her and knocked her to the ground. In both cases, the male suspect is described as Caucasian or possibly of Middle Eastern descent, about 30 to 45 years old, 5'8 to 5'9 with an average build. The male had a day's growth of facial hair and was wearing a dark colored hoodie and baseball cap, jeans, and was carrying a backpack. He was also riding a bicycle. The best advice is obviously is if you can be with a friend or have somebody with you, then that's the best advice is to safety in numbers. Um, but what we're also advising is you know stay in well lit areas. Um, you know don't don't walk along alleyways unless unless it's absolutely necessary. Uh, and if you do get approached or feel that you're unsafe, you know find somewhere that's in the public. Uh, and if someone does approach you, obviously then you know make as much noise as you can and uh, and try and you know, take steps to get away. Now, Crime Stoppers could pay you a cash award of up to $2,000 for information on these or any unsolved crimes, the recovery of stolen property, drugs, or the arrest of any wanted person. Your tips are anonymous and completely confidential. You can talk, type, or text your information in. For Go Calgary, I'm Lisa Walensky.